What's up everyone, Aiden here along with Andrew S. And today we're here with another team memes not meta deck profile. So Andrew, what do you have for us today? Yes, we have a special deck profile today. Um, actually, the first one I ever did on this channel, Aiden, back in 2019, our very first deck profile, and that is Trains. And of course, Trains is... Uh, gotten a lot different over the past three years and that was a long time ago. that was a long time, was a I, long time. I didn't even realize that was our first video yeah yeah it was the first profile we put up there up with your uh, crusadias as well and you know we we did an update one of your crusadias uh last summer i believe i think that's correct yeah. um so i figured why don't we go ahead and take a look at trains um for two main reasons firstly they've gotten a lot cheaper since 2019 they reprinted that sisters of the rose um uh, legendary duelist set and everything's pretty much a common or a rare now. Very, very cheap. Very affordable deck. Minus a few pieces, but we'll talk about that. And the other reason is the ban list. And I don't know if you noticed, but there was something very particular that happened on the last ban list that trains really like. Oh, I'm, I, oh, I, I'm well aware. I'm yes, well aware. Yes, and that is, uh, that is skill drain coming to three. And that is pretty crazy for a deck like Trains that doesn't have a going first play normally. So we'll get into that. But um, yeah, why don't we just... Let's just get right into the actual deck profile with the main deck. All right, so to start it off, of course, we got the three Night Express Knight, and you could play this at two. Some people do play it at two. I like having three. You really need a normal summon in this deck to make sure you can win in one turn. By the way, pure going second deck. You are going second every single time with this deck if you can, unless you know you're going first, and that's when we're going to get into the side deck. But that's why this deck is so crazy, because you always get to go the turn you want to go, because everyone's going to pick first, or you're going to win the dice roll and pick second. So anyway, continuing on with that deck, with that in mind, that we are pure going second, more normal summon. This is Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, best normal summon in the deck. He is the one that when he normal summons, or special summons, uh, he actually targets a level 10 Earth Machine in the grave, special summons him as well. And then of course his other effect is to target a monster on the field, and then he becomes that monster's level. So you can see where that happens. You normal summon, summon from grave, he targets him, becomes level 10, you have two level 10s. Name of the game with trains, as you probably know. Get two level 10s on the field and make a giant monster. Next card, of course, very good. Heavy Freight Train, Derek Crane. He automatically summons from the hand when you normal or special an Earth Machine. And his effect is when he's detached as an XZ's material, you get to pop a card on the field. Now, you can get some pretty nutty effects with this when you make it with, for example, uh, Super Dora. Super Dora is a quick effect to detach, target a card on the field, becomes unaffected. Of course, that's your giant wall that you set up on your first turn if you have no other play. But what you get with that is on your opponent's turn, you get a quick effect pop. Because when you quick effect detach one of these, it becomes a quick effect pop. So very, very good card. Must play at three. Now more of the level 10s to special summon. Three Super Express Bullet Train, of course. This one, you can special summon from your hand if you control all Earth machines. Now, it can't attack unless you send two other cards that you control to the graveyard. But it has a very good graveyard recursion effect where if it is sent to grave that turn, you can target a Earth machine in your grave that's not this card and add it back to your hand. And that's very important for a lot of the recursion plays that happen with this deck. One of Ruffian Railcar, of course, not very good. Don't really want to summon it unless you're summoning it with Urgent Schedule because when it's sent to the grave, you get to search a level 10 Earth Machine, which is very good. You never use its burn effect unless you're playing Dino Morphia and you're 500 away from winning. You're not going to use its burn effect, but uh, it's there if you need it. Now, we're, we do play a Kaiju package, pure going second. Of course, we got to play the three level 10 machine Kaijus because you can use them to, of course, make your trains. And personal choice here, right now I'm rolling with two of Godarla, the Mystery Dust Kaiju, because I have run into some barrier statue problems, some uh, some flunderies, Aiden. Yeah, you know, that's not, right. Not a very fun deck to play against. I was running Gamma Seal here, but I put these in because if you draw this, you can still summon that. Uh, over top of, of course, the barrier statue. Not very fun, of course, to play against, but that helps out a little bit. And since all the strains are such high attacks, it's usually not really a problem that the attack's a little higher. Exactly. It doesn't matter. It's a difference of, I believe, 500 attack. It doesn't matter with trains. You're gonna you're gonna roll over them no matter what. Uh, moving into the spells. I mean, of course, you got to play the three revolving switch yard. Great field spell, of course. It's uh, two main effects, of course, is the discard one to search. That's what you're mainly going to use it for. And it's got another one that special summons from the deck that you'll use on your first turn, and you can actually trigger with Anger Knuckles. So I recommend looking into that first effect as well if it's the first turn in your game and you have Anger Knuckle in the grave, but not one that's being used as much as it is just for a consistency search card. 
Now the actual best card in the deck, three urgent schedule. Oh boy, Aiden, is this just, this is a good card. This card, of course, if your opponent controls more monsters than you, you get to freely special summon a level five or higher and four or lower earth machine from your deck. It's, their effects are negated, just free two monsters on the field. Two things to note with this card. One, it has an effect where if this card is set, and let me get this wording right, and it is sent to the graveyard while it's set, you just get a level 10 machine monster from your deck instantly to your hand. And the other thing is, remember, this is a quick play. If you're on your first turn, you have no other play, you can set this card and this will save you in the battle phase, and then you actually have a chance to win again next turn. Also, reprinted. So also a reprinted, lot yeah. cheaper than last time. Yeah, one of the ones that I was talking about. This was reprinted in the Sisters of the Rose reprints, I believe. And it's no longer 20 a piece. It's like 80 cents a piece. So absolutely no reason to, to not pick up trains. Pick up trains. Very fun deck. That was the card that was really the big money one, and it is no longer. Getting into some non-train specific spells. Pot of Desires. Uh, for some reason, this was limited. And thankfully, it's brought back to two now. Um, I don't agree with that either. It should be at three. It is a card that makes every non-meta deck consistent, um, and, and we need it for playing memes. Uh, but it's at two, so we'll take what we can get right now. You need some consistency in this deck. You're playing three ofs of a lot, so it's not a big deal if you banish some stuff. Of course, pure going second, so we're going to play. We're going to play the three interrupted kaiju slumber. Of course, blow up the field, summon two kaijus, and this is cool because you get to give yourself a level 10 machine to start off your turn instantly. You are a normal summon away from making your train combo and winning then. So we get to some uh, some controversial parts of the deck now to some people. Three Mystic Mine. And, you know, I played Trains Aiden for the past three years, and I never really wanted to play Mine in it, and I finally started doing it. And guess what? I'm winning a lot more because this card is busted. This card is your answer when you have nothing else. And this card is so horrible to play against. But guess what? It's at three, and we're going to use it. It's pretty toxic, but it's, we need it. it. It's so toxic, but you need it because you can put this up when they have a massive board and you can just do your train combo. Your train combo is never summoning more than two monsters at a time. You can easily do it. I've had turns where I put mine up, I've stalled for three turns and then I finally get what I need, I make my combo and I win. This card is a game changer. Play it at three until Konami says you can't anymore. A Little bit of a surprising choice here, but we do main deck three Dark Ruler no more. Um, I found this to be life-saving to, to put it lightly um you you will come into boards that you cannot beat with trains you can slap this down it can't be responded to of course by monster effects you'll make your trains you'll use libe attack into all of them get them all off the field and then you'll pass you know they won't take damage of course but then a lot of the time your opponent will be there with one card in their hand and absolutely nothing to do and then you can win the next turn so i would highly highly recommend main decking three dark ruler more, no more if you don't want to do that if your meta is a little different at locals you can put three ash in here um but personally i really do like three dark ruler again very cheap now it was just printed in a structure deck again i believe the one harpies we've got some one-ups here of course back row is a problem for this deck uh, especially there can only be one not a card we like to see so we main deck this one and we have more spell and trap removal in the side deck of course the one terraforming got to search the field spell for consistency and the one monster reborn very good for combo extending and potentially pulling off some cheese plays and summoning your opponent's monsters as well so you never know just a good card to have and finally for traps we play three infinite impermanence really good going second card and uh can really just disrupt your opponent if you know what to use it on so and another reason to pick it up it's it's i believe this around what five bucks now because it wasn't another structure deck so oh it's, that's right yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's at least around five to eight dollars so very very budget there's only one card in this that's really expensive and that's in the extra deck so why don't we get into that uh of course the boss monster of the deck super dreadnought rail cannon juggernaut Libe. in case you're unaware you summon him on top of any level 10 machine he activates his effect by detaching one he gains 2,000 attack permanently, and then he can attack every single monster on the field up to the number of materials he has plus one. So you make him with three, detach at his effect. He has two materials. You can attack three monsters on the field. And the combo, of course, is if everything's perfect and your opponent doesn't disrupt it, you summon this first, detach, burn for 2,000 damage, summon Libe on top, activate his effect, and then you can attack either directly for 6,000 and win, 
or you can attack into individual monsters, of course, and go ahead and win that way and deal enough damage. Um, so, yeah, that's your standard combo, and it, it's it's a hell of a boss monster. It really is. Um, and we were glad to see that these two were not hit on the ban list from uh, Machino Ruin uh, FTK. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Thankfully, if uh -huh. this card goes below, I'd say, honestly, if it goes to one, you just this would hurt. <laughs> this is a really good card, especially a good card for going to time. You know, make make Gustav Max yeah. burn, win. Yeah. Very, very good, uh, to say the least. So then some other um, level 10 machines that can be used to get into Libe. Uh, first one, of course, is Superdora. This is the one where you're probably going to summon him on your first turn if you have no other play. He's got 4,000 defense, and he can quick effect, target one card on the field, make it unaffected by all card effects. And the thing is that's cool about him is, yeah, you'll normally use it to target himself, and then he just becomes a giant 4,000 defense monster that's unaffected by everything. But from time to time, I've used this to disrupt plays. You can detach a card from this, target one of your opponent's cards that maybe needs to be targeted for their effect, and then therefore it's unaffected by card effects for the rest of the turn, and that can disrupt their whole combo. So think about what you're going to use for that, because you can really pull off some good stuff. And as I said, if Derek Crane is material, quick effect pop on your opponent's turn. Very, very good. Some other uh, ways to get in to Libay, of course. Sky Pals Gengardai. This is when I need to clear the field a bit. Uh, he can discard one, pop a card, any card on the field, and then deal a thousand damage. One of my favorite XZ's monsters of all time, who was also reprinted, who's no longer like 10 bucks because it had one stupid printing back in like 2015. Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Three level 10 monsters, so you won't summon him as much, but his effect is an attached material, and he is a Harpy's Feather Duster that cannot be responded to by anything. Absolutely insane. Now here's where the, some of the money cards do come into play. Um, I would recommend playing two zoos in this deck. If you can only play one, that's fine. If you can't play any, that's okay, but you want to have at least one Zeus. I mean, and here's the thing, Aiden, I think it's really obvious why you need this. This is an XZ's based deck, and when you're done with Libe, if you didn't win on that turn, leaving Libe there, if this was pre-Zeus, you would finish your play and you would just leave Libe there with 6,000 attack with absolutely zero protection. It, it meant nothing. Your opponent would just pop it next turn. Your opponent would just literally, okay, activate this, pop it, and then they would win. But you can make Zeus now. You slap Zeus on top of Libe when you're done. And if you make Zeus, I'm sorry, if you make Libe after making a Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer, you will have four materials on this Zeus. And do you understand? That means you get two quick effect pops that are not once per turn on a Zeus. And I don't know many decks that can do that. But no. this one can. That's absolutely insane. And this is just an infinitely better play than sitting on Libe and passing. I play two because in some of the grind games, you really do need the second one. Um, but if you can at least play one, by all means, if you're going to spend the, what is it, $13 now that the Zeus is, you should do it for this deck because you need Zeus if you really want to take this deck to the next level. Getting into some links now, of course, the Train Link, Double-Headed double Anger Knuckle. He has some cool interactions with the Graveyard and with... Um, revolving Switchyard. Blue Fort Genius, good machine support. Of course, if you activate uh, Urgent Schedule and summon to two, the two zones he points to, you can actually trigger his effect to then search for a machine. So, situational, very cool. Underclock Taker comes up from time to time. Make Libe under him, and then you can target opponent's monster, lower their attack, you know, all that good stuff. Very, very good. Pentastag is crucial for if your opponent tries to set everything in defense. Make your Libe have piercing damage. A Nightmare Phoenix, more traps, more uh, spell and trap removal. You know, you can never, you never be too safe with that. You can put a Seraphis in here, it doesn't matter. Uh, last spot is really up for question. I just have a random Link 4 in here for now. This could be, you could make Ivermax, you can make Boral Sword, you can make really anything. Um, I just have Borload in here right now. This is a wild card spot. Uh, whatever you think is best for you, you can go ahead and put it in there. And then, yeah, quickly we have the side deck, because that's the thing that's really just changed trains here after the last ban list. Aiden, this is a pretty good card. I would say so. This yeah. is uh, this is Skill Drain, and Skill Drain is pay a thousand and negate the effects of all face-up monsters. That's really good for trains, because your trains are all at least twenty-five hundred attack, and a lot of the time don't give a crap or prefer if their effects are negated. For example, Night Express Knight. You can normal summon him, and he's a level ten, but his attack becomes zero. Not if skill drains on the field. That's a normal summonable 3,000 attack monster. 
Uh, Super Express Bullet Train. 3,000 attack, but you have to send two cards you control to the graveyard to attack with him. Not anymore with Skill Drain Up. You can just attack with a 3,000 attack monster. This card cripples so many decks, but does virtually nothing to yours. And that's what's so good about it. And if you know you're going first, if you win the first game and you know they're going to make you go first, you put these three in and you have a really good chance of winning as well because a lot of decks just supremely struggle with that. I normally throw these in as well when taking out my going second cards. Three Solemn Judgment. I mean, another very good card. You know, if you're going first, set these. Yep. Sometimes all you need to do is one of these, and that can disrupt everything your opponent's doing. You know, it's a hefty cost, but it is worth it. We play a lot of spell and trap removal, because if they're playing there can only be one, you really, really need to get it off the field as fast as possible, because your Earth Machines cannot deal with that. You will lose if you don't get it off. That's probably the biggest Achilles heel with this deck, um, outside of, you know, being just consistent in draw support. Um, so, a lot and a lot of spell and trap removal, I would suggest. Then we have some one-ofs. We have the one Metaverse if we're going first. So, you know, I can do some cute little Mystic Mind plays and, you know, search for a mine. Uh, the one Red Reboot because it's a good card and will save you. And then the last spot, you can throw in anything you think is necessary. I just have a Solemn Strike right here for extra negation of monster effects. But, again, any other one-ofs you think of will work just fine there. So, Andrew, what are your thoughts? Final thoughts. Let's give a wrap-up of uh, the deck. Yeah, so Train. Very, very fun deck. Very, and I've said this before, I might have said this in my first ever profile, very monkey brain deck. It doesn't take a lot of a lot of skill to pilot Trains, but guess what? That's what we're all about here on Team Memes Not Met, is making these monkey brain decks <laughs> that you can just win with. I mean, Aiden, you've seen it firsthand. I mean, these this deck can win. You know, it you can. catch someone it's, off guard. It's, yeah, it's very underrated, I would say. I don't um, think people are expecting it is what it is. A lot of people are not expecting to run into trains, right? Um, you know, there's a reason it's not meta, of course. You know, we're, we're memes, not meta. We're not, we're not, we're not playing some kind of crazy tier zero deck here. But there's a reason that it can win games because people can't deal with the skill drain sometimes, and people can't deal with the crazy high attack monsters. So overall thoughts on trains? I would pick it up now. Especially because we don't know what's going to happen after this ban list. If they think skill drains too much, if they get rid of Mystic Mind, which is a high possibility given how uh, prevalent it is in meta decks right now, uh, this deck will be forever changed. But for right now, please pick up trains. It's super cheap. It's super fun. And you'll be able to steal some wins at local. So I give it uh, I give it two thumbs up. Please, one of my favorite decks of all time. Give it a try. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Happy to help. Happy to answer deck questions. We'll leave the list down below as well and uh Aiden, i think there's something else they should do right they should go ahead and join our discord server join the discord mm -hmm. uh talk with us directly yeah have a, have a great time yeah it's a small little community but hopefully we can see it continue to grow i agree 100 percent. you know that that's the best way to get in touch with us take your suggestions for decks talk to you about deck selection pack pools play a little bit on edo pro a lot of fun stuff in or the master discord. duel too. or master duel as well yeah 100 percent. either one um so, uh, yeah, the link will be down below. We'll put a... Actually, there's going to be a card on the screen right now. You can click there and uh, join our Discord. Um, and other than that, I think that's going to about do it. Sounds good. Thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you the next time. See ya.